No, but this is strange, isn't it? Here you are coming into the Australian Open, by far your probably favourite Grand Slam. Not even in the top ten. Haven't played for six months, apart from Kuyong. Yeah. What's going on in your head? Well, right now I'm just being grateful that, that I'm here, um, that I have an opportunity to compete again. Uh, it's been a, a forced break of six months due to an injury that I've carried for uh, about a year and a half. And uh, as an athlete, you never like to face these particular circumstances. But at the same time, I, it allowed me to spend more time with the family, to be there for the birth of the second child, and to address certain things in life that are always on the standby because of tennis. Um, but I missed my time on the tour and uh, I had an opportunity to kind of reflect on uh, my game, what I want to, uh, you know, improve and work on moving forward, who I want to surround myself with. So I have, you know, Agassi and Stepanek as, as my coaching team and uh, I can't be more happier than that. So I, I have a good team of people around me. We worked, we worked a lot physically and when my game. So, uh, yeah, ideally we we'll probably have a lead-up event coming to Australian Open, but mm. uh, I'm happy with the way my, my match went in Kuyong, and I know what I'm capable of, so I'm just, just looking forward to get out there on the court. As we look ahead to the yeah. next two weeks, is it more about assessing where you physically are, or is it about getting to that final, which you've done so many times? Well, look, you know, the part of me obviously knows what I'm capable of, and, and um, you know, the fact that I won this tournament six times, it has it's probably my most successful one of my favorite tournaments around the world um, you know gives me enough reason to believe I can I can go far I can go deep in the event because I, I I know that you know if I'm ready if I you know if I play well I can I can challenge anybody and beat anybody in this court um, circumstances are different uh, approaching this tournament this year for me uh, comparing to previous years because I haven't played any competitive match for six months and six months first six months of 2017 have have been really up and down for me so my performance levels were, were not high so as a consequence of that I dropped out of top 10 and you know but I'm still the same guy so I I, I know that if you know if I play well I can uh, I can I can challenge anyone